Hi everyone, I'm Surindiaru Singha. I'm a program manager and I manage the Scale Spread Embed FFT program. Hi, my name is Michelle Shaw. I'm, I'm the user experience manager for Imperial. Hi everyone, I am Catalina. I am the data scientist of the project. So we've got three of us here, but actually this program of work involves 60, over 60 people um, with over 10 trusts, um, including Imperial. So what we've got is actually the true um, sense of being the technology um, winner. We've got a little video um, to show everybody just to kind of describe the work, um, but also hear from some of the other trusts that are involved, including Imperial. So we feel that this project is addressing a real ethical dilemma in that we're asking patients to feedback about the experiences of their care. But because the sheer volume of the feedback, we can't systematically analyse that data for quality improvement, and therefore patients don't know they're being truly listened to. When we started this project, it was also very timely that the national policy around friends and family tests was moving away from response rates per se to actually using the free text data in near real time for quality improvement. As part of a collaborative project, we creatively addressed resource limitations in qualitative analysis of the free text data from the FFT surveys by leveraging natural language processing, a cutting edge tool in healthcare's big data realm. Imperial College's successful implementation of the NLP tool earned us the 2019 BMJ Award for Digital Innovation. Prompted by the successes of the pilot work at Imperial, we have now been supported by NHS England and the Health Foundation to scale up our approach in nine additional trusts across the country. Over the last three years, we have brought together patient experience, quality improvement, IT and data science teams to collaboratively share their experiences of knowledge and expertise around using this technology to enhance how we listen to patient voices when improving their care. By constantly interacting with each other, we are building a data science community that collects and consolidates several best practices and contemporary innovative analytical solutions. These can be then adapted to be applied to other care settings. My involvement has been quite wide ranging, which I think is good because it shows the project's commitment to meaningful PPI. I started off reviewing the grant application, was invited to be a co-applicant on the grant, and then also to be part of the steering group committee. Also had the chance to support the team to validate the NLP tool, and that ended up with me being co-author on three journal articles. I believe that maximizing the use of patient feedback is very important, as this respects the time, emotional effort, and goodwill that patients and carers have invested in providing it. I also believe that the NLP software is an elegant and user-friendly tool for staff to do just that. So for the patient experience team, the NLP tool has been vital in enhance, enhancing our feedback reporting as it gives immediate and clear vision on what patients are telling us, which assists in identifying improvement projects more effectively. During the pilot, frontline teams became more engaged with the analysis of feedback. They were more receptive to viewing qualitative feedback as opposed to data and numbers which often doesn't give them concrete insight on what patients are saying about their care. I think it's a real innovation that we're using properly in the trust. So it's taking um, patient feedback in the more real time and being able to apply that use continuous improvement to start to drive some of the changes forward so that we can actually almost in a way say you said we did with the patient, which is more meaningful than actually just getting the free text data and just reviewing it. I think it's really important, the work that we're doing um, within the team. So we're made up of different um, services in the trust. We're not actually all from the same team. So it's pulling on them skills to really do something different for the organisation in terms of patient experience. And I think that's the, the key thing. Having um, the patient voice at the front of everything that we're doing is really, really important. And we have so much data now that we're actually being able to use it to make improvements, it makes a massive difference to the patients. So I'm getting the opportunity now to work with hundreds and hundreds of different members of staff at all different levels and showing them and showcasing the work that we're actually doing and getting them on board to use it. I think I've learned um, a lot of technical skills that we didn't have because we'd never used this type of um, analysis before and it's not, it doesn't just apply to this type of work, we can use it on anything that has language as part of it, like our um, documented notes, letters, things like that as well. So it's not limited, the learn is not limited to this one project, we can use it in the future too. Some teams, in particular our GP practices, receive hundreds of feedback comments every month. 
And so drilling down all of the qualitative feedback is very time consuming. So now when thematic analysis from our pilot practice, it's identified areas for improvement and instead of spending a lot of time reading all of the friends and family test comments on our old style friends and family test dashboard, they're using the thematic analysis, which really does help to pull out where improvements are needed. And of course, likewise, to be able to celebrate where there's some great, um, you know, great examples of positive feedback too. We've also found that we've learnt some really good pockets of um, excellence from other trusts who are involved in the project too. And this has been from the regular milestone meetings that have taken place over the duration of the project to date. It's been really good to be given the opportunity to network with other trusts and individuals who are doing similar work to our trust so we can all share, learn and pinch with pride. I'm involved with this project um, as that one of the practices that's piloting it and as a member of the patient participation group. It does give patient a voice as such, even though you know, it may be written co comments that they give. Um, so it does give them a voice. Um, and hopefully, um, you know, that voice will be taken into consideration. For a long time, I felt that patient comments haven't been used to change things. And because I've been involved with a lot of quality improvement over the years, I think it's amazing because they they have um, the you said we did has been used uh, to change things in the health centre and the patients can see that too because it's it goes out of newsletters that we've changed things and so on. Even though we're very engaged with our feedback data, we realised that the way that our data was being processed um, and the way that we were um, theming um, and analysing it was being done in a, in a bit of a retrospective way. Um, and this project gave us um, an opportunity to deal with the food feedback in much more real time uh, so that actions can be taken from ward areas um, uh, immediately when something's flagged as a negative comment. We'd really like to thank the team um, at Imperial for all of their support with this project um, and all of the other um, trusts on this, um, on this project. It really has been a great collaboration um, and I think that it will really benefit the NHS. Uh, the impact we're also seeing amongst the learnings we're getting from other trusts is that it has allowed us to appreciate the various ways that we can productionalise the NLP pipeline uh, in an NHS setting. So as you've just been hearing, this project has allowed us to build up a national community of practice around deriving insights from patient experience feedback. As part of this process, we've collaboratively generated an implementation toolkit that allows us now to scale up further and other trusts and other settings of care implement the project we've taken so far. Thank you. Oh, you Wonderful.